<laughs> Hello, viewers. Good evening. <laughs> From one caring mom to another caring parent, I share this video with you. In this video, I want to express the importance of reading the Bible to your child with special needs. Right now, I'm, I am in my my son's room. He is laying down and he is ticking at the moment, as you can hear him. I know he cannot help it. And I know it's incurable, these ticks. I've seen videos of of people who who live with the ticks. Maybe he might grow out of this. But in this video, I want to encourage the importance of reading the Bible to your child. He may grasp on what you're saying, and it has to be on the pace that you're not reading fast but taking it slow little by little it could be five increments like five 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 minutes of reading and just continue doing that repetitively now i have a bible i have two bibles that i want to share with you i invested in the King James Teen Study Bible and in it I like that it has has um, the summary it has um, bios of, of each each um, chap uh, of each book a summary of what it ha what um, each book um, is about but the most important thing that I want to share in this Bible is that it gives um, it gives what what to read today, and so for the past uh, several months, we have I've been reading um, the Book of Mark because um, it's it gives uh, it it says here that ye, it that if you are reading the Bible for the first time to begin by reading the Gospel of Mark or the Gospel of John in the New Testament. And then after reading one of these Gospels, read the book of Acts or the book of Romans. And then after reading Acts or Romans, you can pick, up, pick an Old Testament book like Genesis or perhaps Psalms. And it also, um, it also says, if you want to read through the the entire Bible in 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 one year, read three chapters each day, Monday through Saturday, and five chapters on Sunday. And if if you want to I'm read not through, ticking. No, you're not ticking. I'm glad you're not ticking. I'm not ticking. No, you're not ticking. I'm not ticking. You're not ticking. Yes, I'm not taking. Yes. Yes. So we, we are going to read the um, part of Mark. And so um, I just wanted to share with you that part. And, and so I, I'm not worrying about reading the entire Bible uh, with him because I know um, uh, I, he can only uh, um, grasp little by little on his own pace. And so I'm not rushing this. If you can read, begin with the book of Mark. And I've been, I've been on chapter one with him for several months now. And, um, and it's repeating, <laughs> repeating what's going on in this chapter to know that it's good news according to the book of Mark. And this is another Bible that uh, um, it's good to start with 
for um, for children on the spectrum. Uh, I have a friend who who recommend this book because the good news is more elementary. The King James is more for teens, um, and it's a higher higher level. Um, it's next to uh, Shakespeare, I would say, and so. Um, so we have been reading chapter one in the book of book of Mark, and you're welcome to hear me read the gospel according to Mark. Begins with the with the statement that it is the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus is pictured as a man of action and authority. His author, his, his authority is seen in his, in his teaching, in his power over demons. And I believe that demons uses um, people on the spectrum based on their weakness. You may not believe this to be true, and that's your opinion. But I believe that demons are used in the avenues of people, especially with, with children on the, on, with a disability. And I'm going to continue sharing the good news here, according to the Gospel of Mark. <clears throat> so his authority is seen in his teaching, in his power over demons, and in forgiving, forgive, forgiving people's sin. Jesus spoke. Uh, Jesus. Jesus speaks of himself as a son of man who came to give his life to set people free from sin. Mark presents the story of Jesus in a straightforward, in a straightforward, vigorous way with, infant, with emphasis on what Jesus did rather than on his words and teachings. After a brief prolonged about John the Baptist and the baptism and temptation of Jesus. The writer immediately takes up Jesus' ministry of healing and teaching. As time goes on, the followers of Jesus come to understand him better, but Jesus' opponents become more hostile. The closing chapters report the events of Jesus last week of, of, earthly, of earthly life, especially his crucifixion and resurrection. The two endings to the gospel, which are enclosed in brackets, are generally regarded as written by someone other than the author of Mark. And so I'm going to take this in parts. I'm not going to um, continue here, but I'm going to continue in another video reading beginning the, chap the first chapter of Mark. See you in the next video.